this presentation, we introduced the idea of the activation energy of a reaction. The activation energy is something that is closely related to the observed rate of reaction. An activation energy is simply the minimum amount of energy needed for a reaction to take place. And uh, what, has, what has to happen is ordinarily the reactants have to achieve a certain amount of energy uh, and that's an energy barrier for the reaction to continue. Uh, much like the, uh, the gopher has to overcome this, uh, overcome a barrier uh, to make this putt. The, and so the energy barrier for the reaction to take place is something that's called the act energy. At the maximum of the energy, the highest energy state achieved along the way of a, along the pathway of a reaction that's called the transition state or it's also called the activated complex those words are used interchangeably uh, the energy that's needed to form this state is called the activation energy so initially what has to happen for a reaction to go is the reactants have to gain enough energy to reach the transition state and then basically the reaction is downhill from there uh, this graph shows reaction progress for a simple isomerization. Uh, in this reaction, the molecule that's shown here, um, I will circle it for you. That molecule uh, has to um, undergoes an isomerization reaction where the carbon and the nitrogen connected by that triple bond change places. And you can see the product over here on the right hand side. Uh, as the reaction takes place, for the, for the reactants to go from, from the reactant to the product, uh, basically that CN group has to turn around. Initially, uh, it takes energy to do that. So uh, as, the, as, the bond, uh, as the bond bends here, the energy is going up. So the reaction goes up as the reaction proceeds, and then uh, when the CN group is perpendicular to the molecule here, circled, uh, that's the maximum energy, and that's the activated complex or the transition state. And then from there, the reaction uh, is downhill. So we go down in energy until we get to the product. Uh, the activation energy graphically is simply the difference between the energy where we start and, and uh, that maximum. Uh, that's, and that's almost always uh, positive energy. Uh, we want to make clear the distinction between the activation energy and the overall energy change of the reaction called delta E. Delta E is shown here. Delta E for the reaction can be positive or negative. Uh, if it's uh, positive, the reaction is said to be endothermic. And if it's negative, the reaction is said to be exothermic. And notice that in this case, we go down in energy. So that's a negative delta E. And in this case, we have an exothermic reaction. Um, so this shows this shows uh, the energies of molecules in the gas phase. If we're undergoing a gas phase reaction where the molecules have to collide to uh, 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 to undergo reaction, then only those molecules that collide with an energy greater than the activation energy will uh, react. And so, uh, so molecules. This these graphs show. Uh, the distribution of uh, kinetic energy among molecules in a gas. And uh, the activation energy um, is this energy right here. And only a small fraction of the molecules have enough energy uh, to, uh, uh, to overcome the activation energy barrier. 
there are a larger fraction of those molecules, the fraction of those molecules that have that energy is equal to the area under this. There's a larger fraction at a high temperature than there is at low temperature. Uh, therefore, therefore, the higher, so the at a, at the higher temperature, the greater fraction of uh, collisions will have enough energy to overcome the reaction barrier, and therefore, the uh, uh, therefore the greater the rate of reaction. So basically, uh, uh, reaction reaction uh, rates depend critically upon temperature. The higher the temperature, the greater the faster the reaction will go, and uh, the influence of uh, of the activation energy is simply that the lower the activation energy, the faster a reaction will go. So basically a higher activation energy means the uh, reaction is more difficult and is slower.